Right now we are entering the busiest part of the Christmas travel period as many of you are hitting the highways and the airways as Ella just showed us to visit grandma and loved ones. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live at Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International Airport, which we just saw Rebecca travel way up despite the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. I'm looking at uh, the transportation lines behind you. How's it looking there? Well, you know, Karen, there are some concerned enough that they went ahead and canceled their plans uh, because of the variant. But a lot of the folks we're talking to, especially the ones who are vaccinated, they're determined not to let the virus destroy another year of Christmas gatherings. The music might be soothing at Atlanta's airport, but it isn't helping some people's nerves, especially those who've been watching closely the sharp rise of the highly contagious Omicron variant of COVID-19. We're very worried. Paulette and Carter Simpson are both vaccinated and boosted, but they're noticing a number of breakthrough cases. It doesn't seem like even being vaccinated necessarily keeps you from getting it, so I'm kind of resigned that we're all going to get it at some point. People being cooped up for a year and a half, they need to see family and friends. Robert Sinclair of AAA says his group predicts this holiday travel period will see an almost 34% increase over last year. Airlines will see a 184% jump. Without a doubt, people have more confidence with the vaccines and the boosters. We took some tests to make sure that we're safe. Jennifer Hasday got a special N95 mask just for the trip. We're concerned, but we've done everything right. We're fully vaccinated, boosted. We got them now. Travelers are glad to hear the Omicron variant appears to be milder, especially among those who are vaccinated. Even for old folks like me. I do feel good traveling. I'm going to put on my other mask when I get closer to the aircraft and uh, I won't take it off. I can tell you that and we'll hope for the best. <laughs> And back here live, I can tell you the top medical advisor for the International Air Transport Association warns that with Omicron's high transmissibility, airline passengers are twice as likely to catch COVID than with the Delta variant. But overall, because of the advanced filters in the aircraft, it's still a very safe and low risk environment. Live at Hartsville Jackson, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Just have to get to those planes.